Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Panda Blocks, and welcome to another episode of Overlook Bay. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys where all 12 fruit tree locations are. Let's get it. So why do you want fruit trees and fruits in Overlook Bay? Well, simple answer, they give you gems, and they also let you complete tasks. Uh, so basically, you can also get an extra four to eight fruit trees, depending on if you spend Robux, and you can plant them in your backyard if you buy the seeds. I will show you how to do that at the end of the video. But basically, you can plant four seeds, or you could buy a game pass, and then you can plant an extra four for a total of eight. So anyways, let's show you how to get the free 12 fruit trees that you can get every single 12 hours. So let's go. All right, so your first tree location is gonna be right here. Uh, right across uh, over there is where you spawn when you click this go to the city button over there's the wishing well right here's emerald estates and here is your first tree so there's once again 12 of these so this is number one each tree is going to drop between two and three uh, one and three fruit sorry excuse me uh so we got two oranges from this tree so let's go to the next tree and let's collect all 12 of them all right, so your next tree is going to be right over here, so make sure you do a little curb hop, another little curb hop. Right next to the school and the uh, soccer field, you will find your second fruit tree, which also contains oranges. So that's uh, another two oranges in the bag, and let's go to the third tree. One little curb hop later, and we were at the Honey's Diner in the movie theater, and we found our third tree, which includes apples. And then we are going to get one, two apples from this tree, so that's a pretty nice haul. So, we are now up to three fruit trees, which puts, uh, puts us at a quarter of the way done. So let's go to the next tree. And right over here, neatly tucked between Coastal Cups and the gym, you have your fourth tree. So we are now officially one third of the way done, and we now have two pears. So we've now got our, what is that, a third variation of fruit? So we are doing pretty good for ourselves. Let's go. Now your next tree is going to be right here, past the Stay Peachy Shop, take a quick right, we'll go right out next to the lighthouse, and there is your next tree, right here next to this nice little sign next to the lighthouse entrance. So let's go ahead and grab what looks to be apples. Let's go ahead and pick these bad boys up. Another two from uh, the apple tree behind the Stay Peachy Shop. Now we're going to head right over there and get our next tree. Now right here, we have bananas, and this tree officially, wait for it, marks us being halfway through the 12 trees that are in Overlook Bay. This is tree number six, and we have six more to go, and it's about to get very quick. So I hope you guys are ready for the next six trees. Alrighty, so now we're here at Overlook Park, and this is where things get exciting because there's a total of four fruit trees here. One, two, three, and four. So let's go ahead and gather up all of these bad boys, and let's add them to our collection that's gonna put us officially at 10 fruit trees, which means we only have two more to go after this. So let's go ahead and grab these two. This is uh, pears, so let's grab the pear trees. Then we got mangoes right here, so let's grab ourselves some mangoes. We got, uh, did we get three from this one? We did, one fell right over here. So we got a pretty lucky on this one. So that's three mangoes that we got. And we still have two more trees to go in the park. And then we get to go to the last area, which are both pretty close as well. Uh, so let's grab our, I believe those are apples and mangoes. So let's grab these, and let's be on our way. Here's the apples. We got two apples. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And let's go grab our mangoes that are right here. And we got ourselves two mangoes. So that's added to the collection. And with that, we have officially gathered 10 of the 12 fruit trees, four of which being at the park. So now we're going to flip a quick U-turn, go up the hill, and I'm going to show you guys to where the next two uh, fruit trees are. So let's get it. So from the park, you want to flip a quick U-turn right past the service, and then you want to go up this giant hill. It's going to take you 20 years to get up in your car, and uh, we're gonna, it's, it's worth it, guys. We're going to go get to the promised land. All right, now we're on top of the world. Look at this beautiful view. Come right around this corner right here, and bada-bing, bada-boom. Oh, got to hit, hit the car flip. There we go. Make sure your car always flips because you can't steer that thing when it's going down the hill. But here is our next tree. This is tree number 11, and I believe this is more oranges. Let me double check that for you guys real quick. That is indeed oranges. So bang, that is our orange tree. We got another two oranges from that, and now we have one more tree to go. Let's go get it. So right from our last tree, you go down this tunnel with the cool little secret right there. That's pretty interesting. And bang, here's your last tree, and this 
is a peach tree. So this is the only peach tree that's on the island, so let's go out and grab ourselves our two peaches, and let's go ahead and head over to Clyde's, now that we've completed our task of collecting 24 fruit, and let's go see what Clyde wants. So a quick drive past the high school and the soccer field will lead us to the grocery store, and right here in the parking lot is Clyde Organic, who is gonna buy all the fruits that we just uh, picked up. So let's see how much he gives us. So let's go ahead and start selling to Clyde Organic. How you doing? It's a great day. Uh, so I'm gonna, you can also buy seeds uh, for trees, which I'll go over at the end of this. But let's go ahead and uh, sell our trees first off. So let's see, let's go ahead and sell. Let's start with the, the apples. So the apples will sell for, come on Clyde, give me a big old number, a big one, a big one. Clyde, they sell for five gems. So an apple will sell for five gems each. So let's go ahead and confirm that and let's see what the next sale is. All right, so next up we have the orange to sell. So let's go ahead and see how much an orange is worth. So let's click sell and let's see an orange is cost. Come on Clyde, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. Eight gems for an orange. So each orange is gonna sell for a total of eight gems. Good to know. Alrighty, so next up we have the pear to sell. Let's go ahead and sell the pear for her. How much does a pear sell for? Come on, Clyde, you know we like here. Big numbers. A pear will sell for a total of 10 gems. So let's go ahead and confirm that and let's be 10 gems richer. Alright, so next up we have the mangoes to sell. So let's see how much a mango sells for. Um, big money, Clyde. We want the biggest. A mango will sell for a total of 12 gems. So it is our currently our highest ranking fruit at 12 gems. Let's go ahead and confirm that and we are rich. Next up, we're gonna try selling this banana here. So let's see how much a banana sells for. Clyde, I see you got bananas right here. How much you like them? How much you like them? 15 gems. All right, so that is 15 gems for each banana. So that's a pretty good deal. Let's go ahead and confirm that and let's get 15 gems more. And last but certainly not least, we have peaches to sell. So let's go ahead and grab a peach and let's go ahead and sell it to him. And how much would you give us for one single peach, Clyde? 25 gems for one peach. Let's go ahead and confirm that. And that is the most expensive fruit in the game. Uh, so next up, let's go over how much they sell for the seeds. Because like I said at the beginning of the video, you can buy uh, seeds and you can plant them in your backyard to grow even more fruit trees. So let's go ahead and see. We're gonna go ahead and click shop here and let's see. So this lines up with the prices. The cheapest being apple costs 75, but they again, they only sell for five gems per. Next up, you have the oranges. They cost 150 per seed, but they only sell for eight per orange. Next up, you have the pear, which costs 300 to buy a seed for but it sells for 10 each, which isn't too bad. Next up, you have the mango, which is 650, and it only sells for two more than the pear, so for a total of 12. Next up, we have the banana, which sells for 800, and you can get that for, uh, you, you get 15 per banana. And then last but not least, you have the most expensive seed here, so if you're just trying to flex, just buy some peaches, it'll also give you the most money at 25 gems per peach. But anyways, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Me and Fred are sincerely thankful for you guys coming out here and watching the video and clicking on it. We hope it was helpful to you guys. If it was, make sure you guys share it with your friends so that you get all the Overlook Bay fruit knowledge that you need. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you guys are new and hit that bell so you never miss a video. Because I'm uploading daily Overlook Bay videos on this channel. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you guys in another video. All right, bye guys.